Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing Goldfinger, the third James Bond movie ever created, I think. It could be like TV shows or something, I, can't, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not like full on nerdy, nerd about James Bond, but I still really enjoy these films, um, for what I've seen, Sean Connery, fantastic. Anyway. Let's get into my review for Goldfinger. Goldfinger is directed by Guy Hamilton, screenplay by Richard Malbum and Paul Dean, uh, based on Goldfinger by Ian Fleming, produced by Andrew Saltzman and Albert R. Broccoli, starring Sean Connery, uh, Honor Blackman, Gerd Froby, Shirley Eaton, uh, cinematography from Ted Moore, edited by Peter R. Hunt, music by John Barry, Production companies from Aeon Picture Productions and distributed by Union uh, United Artists and released September sorry, seventeenth of September nineteen sixty four in London premiere. Eighteenth of September nineteen sorry, eighteenth of September nineteen sixty four in the United Kingdom and twenty second of December nineteen sixty four in the United States. Ran for one hundred and ten minutes and the budget for this movie was three million dollars. In the box office it got one hundred and twenty five million dollars. Plot after destroying a drug laboratory in uh, Latin America, MI6 agent James Bond and vacations in, my, in Miami Beach, his superior M via CIA agent Felix Letter tricks Bond to observe bullion deal a dealer Eric Goldfinger at the hotel there. Bond discovers Goldfinger's cheating at a high-stakes gin rummy game edited remotely by his employee Jill Masters, uh, Masters, Masterson who prompts him uh, using binoculars and a one-way radio. Uh, Bond interrupts Jill and then blackmails Goldfinger in lo into losing. After a night with Jill, Bond is knocked out. <sighs> Cast for this, Sean Connery is James Bond. Honor Blackman is Pussy Galore. Yep. Gert Froby is Eric Goldfinger. Uh, Shirley Eaton is Jill Masterson. Uh, Tyne Mullet, uh, Mallet is Tilly Masterson. Uh, Harold Carter is Odd, Odd Job. Uh, Bernard Lee is M. Uh, Martin Benson is Mr. Solo. Zeke Linda is Felix Letter. Austin Willis is Mr. Simmons. Louis Maxwell is Miss Moneypenny. Uh, Bill Nagy is Mr. Midnight. Uh, and more. Production originally, the next film in the series was going to be On Her Majesty's Secret Service, but it was cancelled because uh, PF for uh, unreasonable uh, warm weather in Switzerland. With the court case between Kevin McClory and Fleming surrounding Thunderball still in high court, producers Albert R. Broccoli and Harry Saltzman turned to Goldfinger as their third Bond film. Goldfinger had. Uh, Goldfinger had uh, what was then considered a large budget of three million dollars, a US twenty five million, and twenty twenty dollars, the equivalent of the budgets of Doctor No and and From Russia with Love combined, and was the first film, and it was the first Bond film classified as a box office blockbuster. Goldfinger was chosen with the uh, with the North American cinema market in mind, as the previous films had uh, concentrated on the. Uh, Caribbean and Europe. Let's get into my thoughts for Goldfinger. Now, for me, this is prob at the moment probably the one that I I'm not a, well. This is probably like number three because we've only seen one uh, three, and this is probably like the last one. Doesn't mean it's a great film. Oh, well, a very good, a great film. Yeah, I love Goldfinger. This is a really, really good film. Uh, I, oh my god, James Bond is like a really good franchise, not gonna lie. Sean Connery, definitely. Uh, I really love uh, Goldfinger. It was such a surprise for me to experience this film, because I thought I was going into, not like this film, well, I, I was going on high, actually, because, I was kind of iffy, because, you know, like, Normal movie experiences, you kind of feel like you've seen the trailer. It might be good, but you don't actually know what the what the actual full movie is going to be like. That was it. That was with Goldfinger, uh, and well, with all these movies I've seen, uh, 
Goldfinger, I still enjoy this film. It is a great film. And yes, for my score for Goldfinger, I'm going to be giving it a 4 out of 5 uh, stars. Percentage, on, percentage I'm going to be giving it an 81%. Gordon could be going to be giving it a B-. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it an 8.1 out of 10. Thank you for watching my review for uh, Goldfinger. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. It will be a big help. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.